and welcome to another video from me, Paraplays, and today's video we're going to be looking at No Man's Sky and the RTX 2080 Ti and the different settings we can have because out there on the interwebs there are lots of information about settings that you should have. The developers have refined the experience and added a few new features such as the FFXA and the anti-aliasing, but as you'll see in this video I'll show you my settings that I have and we're a little bit beyond what everybody else seems to recommend. So here we are in Steam and I've found that the better way for me currently is to have 120 Hertz on and disable enable motion smoothing. With a card with this amount of grunt we really don't need to be putting that feature on. So we find No Man's Sky in here, make sure that this is always enabled up here on this button and I'm setting this at around 130 for a resolution of around 2.8 by 31k. Of course, you can push this up a little bit higher into the 40s, but I am recording at the same time. So let's jump into the title and have a look at those settings I have in game. Quite a big change from when the title first came out, and I know there are a lot of places on the internet now that have got a list of settings that they recommend that you should actually try. Well, these are the settings here, and of course the video that you're looking at that doesn't quite represent what I'm seeing in the headset. There is a little bit of anti-aliasing on a lot of these items out here, but the game seems to be quite smooth and I've not really had any issues with stuttering or any major issues whatsoever with these settings. So if we go in here, I can see my ship is looking beautiful, itchy nose there. So if we come into the settings here and we come up to graphics options, you can see I've pretty much Got everything quite high up. This is a different setup to what you've probably seen on the on the internet, as I've mentioned before. And I have the anti-aliasing off. These are the settings with a 2080 Ti and an i9 100. I find really do work for me, and it gives me that balance between performance and the graphics looking crisp and some of the really nice effects. Now post-processing is off and the shadows are on high. Now a lot of people say turn that down, but this is gonna be dependent on your system, of course. So the depender really is, is when we get in the actual ship. And also under the video options, of course, now they've updated it, they should only see your one option in here. So yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Up in the distance over there when it comes to items, such as what I'm firing at there, and that little light is very, very glitchy and the anti-aliasing is flicking really, really badly under the actual building, but that's part of the game. This wasn't originally a VR title. So let's just jump in our ship here. Reset the camera a little bit. And from looking in the camera, I've noticed it doesn't really matter what setting I have, there is shimmering out there on the base underneath, and there is a little bit of jello around my hands. Of course, you could turn down the subsampling in uh, the virtual reality steam settings, but I like to have that extra little bit of oomph in the graphics. As I can see, a little bit around my hand is glitching a little bit, and if, you, if that bothers you, then of course you can turn it down. Now, one of the things I've noticed in this title little things that you don't really notice is occasionally when I came into a cold planet there was actually frost on this window but there wasn't on that window and I wondered if that was to represent wind I don't know if you've noticed a lot of these things yourself so with these settings I think the best thing for us to do is to get out into space and let's go out to the anomaly and see how bad that looks because that really is an anti-aliasing hellhole when we come up there and let's just pull her up slightly and we'll get ourselves up there off so a little bank over it's all silky smooth so far no problems whatsoever with these settings let's give ourselves a little boost as we get out of the atmosphere and then we'll call in the anomaly and we'll see what that looks like as we get further out This title really, really has surprised me with how how long I've spent in virtual reality, longer than any other title out there. It really has been a enjoyable experience. So let's bring the anomaly up. There she is. And let's just fly over to the anomaly. I hope at one point it will come a, a feature of this game where we will have to request landing. 
will have to wait out and things like that. A request to leave the leave the docking area and we will get cargo bay doors that will come down and we'll be able to drive exocraft in it and all these things, but who knows, maybe that'll come in the next function after beyond, the next updates. So yeah, no problem so far with glitching or bouncing. Let's just reduce the speed a little bit here. As we come up to this, we're actually going a little bit fast. If we're gonna be realistic, that is. Anomaly, this is Paraplay's VI. <laughs> Let's just come up to that first gear. There we go, and we'll come into the anomaly here. I will have a look when we get in. And here we are in the anomaly and immediately I can tell the anti-aliasing in here is, well, let's be honest, it's terrible. Everything is shimmering and, and, and the resolution at distance up there beyond that ship is terrible. But this is virtual reality, I've always said with the index, this is virtual reality 1.5, it's not version 2. So as you can see I've got frost in there on the glass, which is what I mentioned before. So let's just jump out here and have a quick look around at the performance. No issues whatsoever, everything is silky smooth, a little bit of bubbling on the hands. You'll know what I mean by that in virtual reality. As you can see, there's another player running around there with an exotic ship by the looks of it. But yes, the anti-aliasing is really the only thing that lets this title down and in the future when we can get increased resolution, titles like this will just be mind-blowing. Well, that's how I feel anyway. Let's just get over here. Looks like there's a couple of real human players over here. Oh, there's one. This guy's saluting. And he's got a ship that I haven't seen before. As you can see, silky smooth here in the anomaly. This is usually a place where you would expect it to be quite intensive. There's a little geck there running around. I like his ship. But that's just been a little bit. That's beautiful. Look at that. That is beautiful. But hey ho, I hope you've found this video of interest. This is running on a i900 and a GTX 2080 Ti and I've got no problems whatsoever with those settings. I also have an SSD and I'll leave all my details on the spec of my machine in the comments box below. Thumbs up, like, subscribe and help a small channel and I shall see you in some more No Man's Sky videos and virtual reality videos coming real soon. Thanks for watching. Man, that is a beauty.